Hello all, welcome to another video. We are going to be painting a rocky shore inspired by Kelly Vivian Art. Um, this looks, I think she used acrylic. It looks very acrylic-y, very opaque, but I'm going to try this in watercolor. So we have to create our ocean or our shore before we add in the rocks. Um, so the top part is going to be like a lot more um, a lot more blue. So I've taped the borders of my piece of paper just because this otherwise would be very messy <laughs> since I'm painting a gradient. Um, and I'm using my new palette, which if you've seen my other videos, then you should be familiar with this guy because I have been really raving about it. And I will link it in the description if you want it for yourself. And it gives me a little bit of commission if you use the link that I provide. Um, so yeah, I'm using like a bit of skin color, like a nude here for the bottom. That's going to be our shore. I want to add a little bit of a brown pigment because I don't know, the sand looks a little bit darker on the bottom there. And some more blue. Maybe some more brown. That's not brown. I don't know what color that is. Because I want, like, this rocky shore to be sticking out a lot. In random places, not just the bottom portion. And I do want this blue to extend all the way down, not just at the top. Whoops, I don't want a rocky shore on this side. So I filmed a uh, sketchbook Sunday which because uh, I'm filming all of August all of August's tutorials I am filming today so I have not done the voiceover for that sketchbook Sunday yet but I am assuming that I'm going to release that video first uh, and if I don't then this is going to be a big shocker but um, so I'm expecting, that's why I felt so horrible a few months ago when I was saying in my videos that, man, like, I have not been feeling well. Yeah, first trimester was, made me really regret my decisions. <laughs> Luckily it didn't last, like, oh my gosh, I feel for the women that, you know, go through this and feel like this their entire pregnancy. It is uh, truly a sacrifice, a feat. And um, luckily mine only lasted like just over three months. By the halfway mark, I was feeling a million times better. But yeah, when you see this tutorial, well, it depends when in August I release it, because I'm not due until early September, but um, like you never know, right? 
babies can come whenever they want to come. So if it comes early and this video is released in late August, then oh my gosh, I might already have a baby by the time you see this tutorial, which is so crazy to me. Um, it's really nuts how quickly life can change. Why is this not becoming like I want to have this part brownish as well because I want there to be like a, a rocky shore at the top too. We'll just we'll go with that, I guess. I do want to darken some of this blue, though, up here. Like dark, dark blue. Okay, I'm gonna leave this because if I just keep going over it, I'm never gonna achieve what I wanna achieve. So we're gonna stick with this gradient. There's gonna be rocks kinda going along this way and the shore, the water is you know moving that way. So let's just let this completely dry and then we can move on to the next step. So I quite like how this gradient dried. It's very beachy to me which is obviously what we're going for here. So now is kind of the moment of truth, you know, you got to add all the rocks and this is the point where we can mess up substantially. So makes me not want to do it, but I'm taking brown. Um, although rocks are usually more like a, a gray, but Vivian has painted them brown. Maybe it's a specific type of beach rock. So I'm mixing gray in with brown for like a happy medium, you know? <clears throat> we'll just go with that. Okay, we can always adjust later. She went with this very, uh, what would you call this? like indigenous theme almost, like they're very shapey and patchy, like those are the kind of patterns I've seen on indigenous, indigenous artwork, like especially animals where they have like these shapes everywhere. But I am not going to do that because we're working with watercolor, so it's a lot more challenging to achieve that. And I also don't like that look necessarily on this painting. So we're gonna go with traditional rock look. So here I have one prominent rocky shore, which I'm going to have a rock on, sticking out. And, you know, you can make your rock look like whatever you want it to look like. I'm gonna have a few rocks there. I do want these guys to be a little smaller than the rocks that I'm gonna paint up front here because obviously the farther they are away from the viewer, the smaller that they should appear. Like that's just how basic perspective works. Um, totally up to you though, how you wanna paint your painting, how you wanna paint your rocks. I don't really care, it doesn't bother me. I am just giving you the facts or whatever, the how to make your painting look a little bit more realistic and you can do with that whatever you please. I want this one to be a little higher. Overlap with that one a little. <clears throat> okay, 
Um, I do want one randomly sticking out here as well. So we're going to go back in later with white acrylic paint and really um, make these rocks pop with water. Uh, sorry, with like the, the a rippling effect. And I'll show you what, what I mean by that a little bit later. But right now we're just focusing on painting the rocks themselves. Um, and you can either choose to add the value now to your rocks or later. Uh, I like doing it now because the paint is still wet, so you can really play around with the shading of the rocks make them look a little more realistic and whatnot. So, all right, I'm gonna have some bigger boulders over here. Uh, So as I'm filming this, I'm going, in a few days, I will be entering my seventh month of pregnancy and therefore third trimester. And um, the last couple weeks, like, baby has been so intense with the kicking. <laughs> And it's such a cool feeling. Like, I never thought that this was something that I would care about um, or, you know, notice. Uh, you don't, I don't know, maybe some people think about these things, but I certainly did not think about this aspect of pregnancy because I never thought I was going to make the decision to go that route in life. Um, but it is such a cool feeling, like I really, I'm really enjoying that aspect, like the, the movement and the kicking, it's like a, there's a rolling pin in my stomach, which I guess for some people you're probably like, how is that pleasant? But it's like my body created a life, it's, it's growing another human. And that is, until it's happening to you, obviously men will not be able to ever really experience that feeling. But man, until it's happening to you, you're, you don't even really think about it. And it's, it's just, I have personally really enjoyed that aspect although the kicks are getting really really strong <laughs> at this point <laughs> like sometimes I'm like calm down child calm down because I, I I can't take it <laughs> it's very forceful <laughs> So I'm trying to make these rocks a little bit larger here at the bottom, as I mentioned earlier. Why? Because I want it to appear closer to the viewer. Making them a little darker too. Um...
Okay. So I'm pretty content with these guys. Uh, like with the quantity of the rocks that I have, I think. So I'm going to let these guys dry. And I know right now it kind of looks just like these rocks are floating, but um, trust me, we will remedy that shortly. Okay, so this should be dry. Um, I've taken, I've squirted some acrylic paint, white acrylic paint onto um, some foil and I'm going to be applying these ripples to make it look like there's, you know, water crashing against the rocks and whatnot. So the way that I like to do this, I'll go a little closer here so you can see. Um, like you want to concentrate a lot of your ripples along the base of your rocks and kind of create these bubbles almost. And it doesn't have to be like a fluid line the whole whole way. The realism in it comes from the uh, inconsistency of it, I guess you can say. So you can kind of like move your paintbrush parallel to the rock or horizontally, I should say, and it'll create a similar effect. If you have, I'm using very cheap dollar store acrylic paint here, which makes this process more, not as easy because it's not as opaque as perhaps more expensive artist quality level acrylic paint. Um, I should really get, like, just buy some good Good quality acrylic paint one of, one of these days because I I use it enough that it's I should I should just buy some but that just goes to show you that you don't need all this expensive stuff to achieve what you want in a painting. You can have, so I'm adding some dots in some sections to make it look like the water is splashing as well against the rocks. Feel free to make it your own. Like, don't you don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Like, I'm also not all of my lines are going to be exactly parallel with my rock. Like, I do want it to look like some of this water is moving in relation to the other rocks around it and whatnot. So. And as you move away from your rocks, you can make your brush strokes a lot thicker.
but when they're in between, like tightly in between rocks, you can make your brush stroke smaller, even like dot it a little bit to make it look like the water is splashing around a lot more and doesn't really know where it wants to go. I'm gonna zoom out because I fear that I'm going to go out of frame as I tend to do. And then way up here where there aren't really any rocks, you can make your brush strokes a lot more uh, spread apart and thinner and just almost non-existent up there. And you don't have to have your, your splashes going all the way to the edge. Like I'm kind of lining it so that there's a little bit of space where the water, I guess, has not reached quite yet. Anyway, you can keep adding as much or as little as you want in terms of the, the white acrylic paint and, and the waves and until like here it just looks all over the place a little bit for me. <laughs> I think I went a little overboard over there. Um, I'm not quite a fan of how that looks. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do uh, is add some splatters, I guess you could say. So it looks a little bit more natural than if I was just dotting it. So I'm taking a slightly wider brush. I'm watering down some of this acrylic paint and um, then I'm just tapping it against like a brush and having that splatter on to the page here until I'm happy with it, which I think I am. Okay, so then the last thing to do is just to peel off your tape and, you know, it reveals, if I take this background off, quite a nice little rocky shore painting. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think, what you would have done differently. Um, I might actually add some blue ripples here at the top now that I'm looking at this. Um, but uh, please don't forget to hit like, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.